Hey everybody, it's James with Cold School. I wanted to do a video in response to uh, several people asking about the radiators that I use or test with. And I wanted to uh, kind of go through a few of the pros and cons of some of uh, I will tell you this. Uh, well, let's just start over here. I was going to start with what I use. Uh, so these are PC personal computer radiators or server radiators. Um, they're about one inch. Now, when I say the thickness, I don't mean the frame. The, uh, the core is about one inch thick and the spacing between the fins is far enough for air to draw through when you're, when you have condensation and, uh, you're in a humid climate. So when you use them on a personal computer, you're not dealing with condensation, clogging any of the lines if your fan's not strong enough and stuff like that. So, um... You can actually see through this one so that you 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 know you won't have problems with that so anyway those are personal can this is a heater core off a car and the thickness is a little too thick uh, so it, not the frame here but up here it's a little too thick uh, to be to over an inch I'd say maybe that's a let me look real quick probably an inch and a quarter maybe it's a little too thick as far as just the thickness goes when you're using uh let's get some over here this uh, atwood three inch fan so the thickness well I'll, I'll tell you too uh so i built a, if you go to my if you go to one of any of my videos that say transformer ac and i've got one that's under it's a short it's under a minute long and i used a radiator like a heater core like that the problem I ran into might not have even been when I was testing that was the thickness, but I use a radiator heater core that size, and that one mates up perfectly with the uh, cubic feet per minute uh, airflow with this fan, this inline uh, Atwood fan. So as you can see, there's a big difference pulling air through so this fan was trying to pull all the air through that and it was condensating it was running too cold and it was filling up with water and, and the, all the little areas so it couldn't pull through maybe if you use two of those being thick like that i'll have to do a test on that but as far as using it by yourself uh the square inch the surface space is too small for that one running like really cold ice water and this here i've used this in tests this one's a little too thick also and uh, for for that fan. So in the configuration, it's also a heater core. And what I do is I cut the tubing off and then I block what I don't want to use and what I do. So on this one here, I've got a uh, barb fitting on the bottom and then one on this end. So I, not that these are bad or good. There's just certain configurations that you've got to work with. So I wanted to uh, go through uh, the different ones, like, like I said, that's a perfect match right there. That right, and so is that one also right there. You can almost look at them, and if you're online, I'll put a description for that. This this particular video is specifically for this radiator that I use, and uh, you can use it on an airbox for a nine quart cooler or a 48 but the thing about it is when you use a big i i built it to cool an entire room that was eight feet wide uh 12 feet long and six feet high so i wasn't cooling just my body i was cooling the whole room so there was a lot more hot air being sucked in through that so your ice will melt a lot faster but what you can do is turn down your uh speed on your fan and it won't pull the hot air to where you have the hot chasing cold so bad so anyway back to this before we finish up here this is a transmission or oil cooler uh there's not a lot of square uh uh, surface space um, to mate up with that particular fan whether you submerge it for a closed loop or use it for the air box or have it under the lid of the ice cooler for the airflow uh, now all of these will work in one capacity or another with different fans in different circumstances if you're wanting to cool your body or uh, cool a room so I was I, I travel in a van conversion with a big box on it. It's a big box van conversion. And so that's what I was trying to cool. And I used this one 
Let's see if I can reach it over the table here. So you can see this one's pretty, this is right at one inch here. And you can, uh, it's kind of hard to see here, but that one works really well. And you can, let me get a little close up. You even, you can tell the one on the left, the fins are a little closer than the one on the right. So I tend to prefer that one. And uh, there's a different count depending on the air box size when you, these uh, tubes here, there's different counts on different ones. And this one I haven't tested yet. This is for like a boiler for a heater. Uh, it's pretty, pretty, it's pretty thick, but uh, the fins are really far apart, kind of like the transmission cooler. So I'm really kind of excited to test that. But so this video is about this radiator right here matched up with this fan for that particular use to cool a, a room, about a, a hundred square foot room. So this is a Spectra made uh, radiator. It's a heater core. And I will put the description and the link to... Uh, I'll try to put different uh, websites where you can get it in case somebody's out. And uh, what I do is when I buy them, they come with these tubes. And I cut the tubes off with a, I actually use a hacksaw. I used to use a Dremel. Uh, so they come with tubes. Might be on the wrong side. Yep, I guess that's right. So that's what they look like. So if you're looking online that's what it looks like. So that's a perfect match for that fan for an ice chest air conditioner. Now that is uh, good for cooling. Like I said, I was using about maybe a, I was using, I think it's an igloo cube, but it's the bigger one. So it's about two and a half feet tall, maybe 21 inches square, 22 inches square from front to back and left to right. And uh, I had, I was using actually for the air box. Now you want to, you do want to uh, have your fan, you want distance. You don't want the fan up against it because it's only going to pull air through that small amount of the radiator. You want it farther, let me get up top. You want it farther out. So it'll pull through all of the fins. So I was actually using a uh, batter, a plastic black battery box from Walmart, maybe for like a car or a uh, boat battery. And I actually, I might have been using this one here, and I actually put put it at the outside. Let's see, instead of having the lid on the battery box, I put that where the lid goes, and then I put some foam insulation around the edge to keep the other air from coming through. So anyway, for this video, for a 100 square foot room, if you've got access to ice, because I had to get under a sleeping bag, it was so cold, just off of that uh, combination, but the ice itself would only last an hour, hour and a half, because I was using a big bilge pump, and it was pumping the ice water really fast, and as you know, the, uh, the chemical reaction between uh, frozen water, which is ice, and water, when they touch, it causes a chemical reaction. And the uh, ice will succumb to the water, as well as the temperature difference between the higher and lower, and it'll melt faster. But I'm actually working on some... Uh, if you stay tuned, I will do it as fast as I can. I'm working on some ice extension uh, designs to... Uh, actually alleviate a lot of that but anyway for the videos uh that i've uh done in the past a lot of them a lot of them were testing uh some of them are what i use but i'm gonna be doing a lot more videos that are like uh, straight to the point what i use what i don't use and uh i will put the number for that radiator in uh, the description as well as the fan this is really about the radiator i might do a different video on the fan with the amperage and everything but that's for that particular project if you're